Hey guys, Bobby here. I know I haven't done a video in a while, but uh, uh you know, I'm gonna get caught up here. So, uh, today I have a this is a custom knife factory morph, and uh, <clears throat> I've actually had this for quite a while. I think I bought it around uh, about six months ago, honestly. Uh, so yes, I've I've had this for quite a while. Uh, I originally purchased it because because it's different, you know. As I mean, it looked like a folding kitchen knife, and uh, it kind of you know I just wanted something different, I guess. And it has a full flat ground. I mean, it's it is full flat ground. Uh, you guys can see. I mean, it's really a great slicer. It has this beautiful uh, hand rub satin finish. And uh, if you guys don't know about Custom Knife Factory, so they're uh, <clears throat> they're out of Russia, and I'll throw a a link to their website in the in the description. But you can and you can purchase these now pretty much from all the the big uh, online retailers, Blade HQ, Knife Center, GP Knives. Uh, they have you know uh, they carry all their knives, so. And you probably have heard or seen the Decepticon, uh, you know, and, uh, those, 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 some of those knives, that's out of my price range. So uh, I picked this one up. I think this retails about 280, and uh, you know, for 280, I thought it was, it was a pretty good deal. You know, I could try it out, see if I liked it, and it is a very light EDC knife. So it's a titanium frame lock, has a steel lock bar insert, as you guys can see there. Uh, good lockup. You know, it's not too early, but uh, all the still is engaged, so uh, that's good. Uh, it's really light, <clears throat> so we go in there. You see, uh, the, even the titanium. First of all, it's real thin, and the titanium has been uh, milled out, as you guys can see the pockets there. And then the other side is just carbon fiber. So out of all, uh, they have different versions of this, and this one was the one that appealed to me the most. And pretty much, uh, I really like that, you know, that natural rock type of pattern. And I love carbon fiber. <laughs> so, those two things right there just uh, did it for me. They have another one that's carbon fiber and it has like this Anzo pattern. Um, the ti all titanium one has, uh, kind of looks like uh, Strider's gunner grip. <clears throat> so, I thought that might be a little too aggressive for my pocket. And, uh, you know. So I end up going with this one, which I don't regret because I, I really like uh, this pattern. So a very beautiful pocket clip, as you guys can see, sculpted titanium pocket clip. Uh, it, it does uh, come to a point, so it goes in and out of the pocket easy, but uh, because I, it might be a little sharp under here, you know, where it makes contact, so it will, uh, you know, at least it, it kind of, uh, you know, uh, tore up my jeans a little bit but <clears throat> you know, if you carry a knife every day your pockets probably look like that anyway so uh, that's how most of my pockets look uh, flipping action is terrific I do have to say that um, you can push button it light switch it and I really like uh, I really like the you know how they designed that the, the flipper there so you see the jumping and the jumping is really effective you guys can see, sorry, uh, S35VN still, which is a good still. Uh, it really flips nice, I do have to say. Uh, it really is like a, a folding kitchen knife. It's about 3.5 inches. I'll show you guys. So I'll bring out some carbon fiber. Uh, it's my large and single. It's not quite, not quite as big. Uh, it's a paramilitary. Should be a tad bigger than a paramilitary. Try to get it. It almost looks the same, honestly. <clears throat> and it is really light because of the carbon fiber and uh, everything else. It is really light. But uh, let me do the scale for you guys. Boom. Come on. There it is. 3.74 let's make sure I was thinking it was going to be lighter than that 3.74 twice but I'll throw all the stats in the description 
uh, overall I, I do have to say it's a it's a really nice knife uh, I would say the only complaint would probably be the bottom of the pocket clip uh, you know it could have been a little smoother kind of how Riate does theirs and then uh, I really like the finish though I and mean, the finish is really nice <clears throat> and then this part right here it it doesn't bother you whenever you're using this to cut because you see my thumb kind of goes past it but sometimes I mean it's a little sharp I do have to say that I kinda wish it kinda went underneath more you know uh, just the very end it could have went under the handle but I mean overall it's a great knife I, I definitely like it very well built it is manufactured in China and then shipped to Russia for a final assembly and <clears throat> you know I'm sure they you know they do the the finishing touches and everything and but overall terrific knife I have to say uh, you know for a high-end EDC knife it, I think it's a good one so hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching bye